Hey, what's up? It's day three, uh, or whatever day it is. Anyways, we gotta head to the airport in a few hours, but I still have time, so I'm gonna try to have some fun out here. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast first. Not sure where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try not to end up at the Binion's Cafe because, you know, it's gonna be the same thing all the time if I keep doing that. That burger is just so damn good. And it's, you know, I just know the place, it's comfy, but uh, let me figure something else out. Maybe I'll, I'll try a different place at a different place. <laughs> See what happens. All right, come along. Hey, what's going on? I'm at Claim Jumper at Golden Nugget. See, I did something different this time. I told myself, all right, you're not getting the Binion's, the Binion's Hangover Burger. You did this yesterday. Time to try something different. You know, try to try, to try new habits. All right, so I'm at Claim Jumper, uh, Golden Nugget. I'm having the steak and eggs. Uh, and as soon as it gets here, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm expecting it's gonna be tasty. I mean, it's steak and it's eggs and it's Las Vegas, so if anyone can do steak and eggs better than anywhere else, it's gonna be a place in Las Vegas. All right, all right. All right, there it is. That looks really good. Haven't had it yet, but I'm about to, but mm-mm. And look at that toast, look at that toast. Yeah, nice and, oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, all right, time to eat. Five quick hits right there. Thirty-three dollars. I'll take it. Not too shabby there. Coin show, coin splash, golden shower, as cinnamon would call it. But there it is. Yay! Yay! Looks like a $12 win right there. That's gonna keep me alive in this game for eh, probably about three more spins. Yay. If anything cool happens, I'll be back. Alrighty, I just left the uh, Golden Nugget, and I'm gonna head uh, towards uh, Plaza, maybe Circa, maybe Golden Gate. Let's see what's going on around there. Playing some Monopoly Hot Shot, which I didn't know was a thing. And I like Hot Shot, and I like Monopoly. Actually, my wife and I have been playing Monopoly on the Nintendo Switch every now and then, so. It's a nice little match made over there, so I'm gonna give ahead and give us a shot. Three dollars of credit. Here we go. Nothing on that one, alright. Spin number two, number two. Fourteen bucks on that one. Spin number three, number three. Nothing on that one. Spin number four. Oh, that would have been nice. Come on, big money, big money. Uh, 
Oh, it's teasing on that first one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, not the bonus round I was hoping for, but, you know, nine bucks, I'll take that. A bit of doggy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Down to two bucks here. Two dollar spin. And that's a wrap. It was fun though. I mean, it's got cute pups on it. So, you know, you know how I am about cute pups. Alrighty. So, um, the slot play today is not optimal. Not actually, now that I think about it, the slot play for the whole trip hasn't been very optimal. Um, I'm not sure what I'm showing you guys, probably just the good stuff, but there was a lot more bad stuff. So many dead spins, and the machines are really tight, and I'm not sure if it's because, at least the ones I've experienced, I can't speak for all of Las Vegas, uh, but it seems like no matter where I've been, up uh, the strip or downtown, Everything is just tight for some reason. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's a weekend thing or whatever. I don't know. Maybe just the luck isn't with me. Um, but I was lucky in other ways, you know. With... Shut up, rock the clock. So as I was saying, I was lucky in other ways. Uh, and got to meet just this whole trip has been awesome. It was Resorts World opening. But most importantly, and I know that's a big deal, a brand new shiny casino. I get it. It's really important. It's a big deal. But what was also a big deal was being able to meet uh, so many of the people that I've come to know um, through YouTube and through the community, um, you know, and just, just in person, you know what I mean? Uh, and that's how it is with, with Vegas friends, right? Vegas friends, you usually meet online first somewhere, either in a, in a forum or, you know, through some sort of a, a blog or a website or uh, YouTube channels or a Facebook group and you instantly have that Vegas connection and that's the cool thing about uh, you know that that's the cool thing about it because you, you know you you all sort of get to know each other and then when you finally meet each other you already know each other you know so it's just like it's awesome so it's just cool it's just great to, it was great to just, like meet everybody uh, so and um, I'm getting like messed up with my words <laughs> Oh shit, I didn't have coffee yet. Oh, that explains a lot. Alrighty, the idea is that I'm gonna head over to uh, the Fremont and grab a cup of coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Had some of their coffee yesterday. Um, over there. They did a good job at that Dunkin' Donuts, so I'm gonna have some coffee over there and then see what else I can possibly do um, without spending too much money on slot machines because my goodness, tight, 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 tight. Even the Dunkin' Donuts in my neighborhood doesn't make coffee as good as this sometimes. So, I'm, I'm quite thrilled to have good Dunkin' Donuts coffee again. Yay, it's a mediocre, mediocre Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which happens. I'm rambling, but it's fine. I got time to kill, my flight is delayed, I don't want to spend all my money. I mean, I could. I'm in Vegas, I might as well. No, I, sh I don't... Mm. You know what I should do? I should actually use my card actually use a player's card and play a machine if I put a hundred bucks in some place like the Fremont I'll probably be getting comps for the rest of my life I don't know is that how it works 
All right, I was just at the Fremont. Some guy got busted on the casino floor with a fake ID, so there's like a bunch of cops around him right now. It was interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to the D right now. Um, I'm gonna see how the horses are doing. I wanna see how Sigma Derby is doing. It was down last time I was here. So I'm gonna see if I could uh, make up for lost Sigma Derby time. going on so I'm about to play some uh, Sigma Derby over here at the D. Got some quarters. Alright it's time to bet. I'm gonna go with uh, let's see maybe one two. Uh, maybe a bit of a three four. Um, maybe a two five and a four five. Yeah here we go. Come on, horses, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Who am I betting on? Come on, one, two, two, five, three, four, four, five. <laughs> The only one I didn't bet on. <laughs> yeah, so. A horse died in the middle of Sigma Derby uh, going around the track, just dropped, just stopped, stopped running. Number four, in case you're wondering. Uh, our condolences to number four uh, in the Sigma Derby machine. I have about $18 and quarters that I need to bring to the cashier downstairs. <laughs> but it was fun, you know, until the horse died, until the horse died. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, yeah, people. Z9, mother flowers. All right, here we go. All right, it's A through E and one through four. I don't know. Eight free games, a two X. I'm gonna jump over here. Oh God, another eight games. We go to this corner here. 10 free games. I'm just getting really sporadic with my choosing. Ooh, 10 games, all right. Uh, ah. Yes. All right, that was awesome. 10 free games. 1x though, so here we go. All right, $7.80 right there. Me too, Melba. I love when the screen glistens like that. So far, $9.80 on this one. Come on, X's. Let's go. The only game where you cheer for X's. All right, 13 bucks so far, four free games remaining. A 
$6 win right there. Bringing it to 1905. Mercy, what's going on, girl? Figured I might as well do a live for my last 30 minutes in Vegas. Three games, two games remaining on this bonus round here. Four quick hits, $7.50 right there. Last free game of this bonus round. Come on. 25 cents. Huge 25 cents. <laughs> All right, $26.80 one for this one. Look at how glistening it is. I just love that. Coin show, coin splash, golden shower, as cinnamon calls it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, mother flower. Yes! Five quick hits. A huge $15.51. Nowhere near what it is on DJ in Heaven, but, you know, I can't control this machine, so, you know. I'm just gonna keep hitting this. Yeah, baby, come on, another five quick hits. Another $15.05 right there. Come on, baby. And that's another $15 five quick hits right there. Good seeing you, man. Take care. Hey, man. Goodbye, downtown Las Vegas. I love you. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for this trip. It was a great trip. Uh, Halapalooza happened. Met so many uh, Vegas friends that I hadn't met in person before. Um, really great time. Uh, hanging out with everyone. Uh, the view from the Lucky Dog suite was pretty awesome. Lucky Dog, uh, Jason and Brandon, uh, awesome people. And uh, yeah, it was really, uh, really awesome trip, really good trip. But today, awesome day. Uh, had some breakfast. So anyways, uh, had some breakfast this morning at Claim Jumper, uh, went all around Fremont Street. Uh, Played some slots here and there. The slots weren't that great. Then I did a live stream from the plaza. Actually used my Players Club card. So now, can't be like, oh, my Vestro, you, you gotta be using those Players cards. I did it. I did it. Put $100 through and everything I won, I kept playing. So we'll see what, we'll see what plaza throws my way. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that was fun. And uh, yeah, so that's it did a live stream that was awesome um so that's it time to head home uh yeah miss the wife miss the pup um so that's gonna do it uh thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe and hit that little notification thingy stuff for more vegas content all right that's it actually that's not it there's there's this there's this one thing so here it is In life, a person can have various sets of friends. Childhood friends, high school and college friends, work friends, best friends, etc., etc. But let's talk for a minute about Vegas friends. In many cases, Vegas friends meet for the second time in Vegas. The first time is often through a forum, website, a Facebook group, or Twitter, and of course, through YouTube channels. Vegas friends are a special breed. Those people I instantly connect with because they have a shared interest in my favorite city and also a shared interest in going to my favorite city as many times as they can. Vegas friends don't ask why I'm going to Vegas again. 
Vegas friends ask when I'm going to Vegas again. Like me, they all hear the proverbial voice of Vegas calling. They understand Vegas, all the good and even the not so good Vegas. They thrive in the latest Vegas things, get excited about the new Vegas places, and have nostalgia for the Vegas of old. They look forward to that next Vegas trip, that next collective experience, that often unrealized dream of a hand pay, a jackpot, or winning big at the tables. And when I couldn't get to Vegas, it was those Vegas friends that I was so fortunate to live vicariously through, and I haven't even met them all yet. So the next time you're in Vegas, raise a glass to your Vegas friends, because as long as you have Vegas friends, you'll always be lucky.